is an important part of traveling because it's another way to discover and explore the culture of the country that you're visiting. That's why in this video I want to tell you what are the restaurants where I ate in Tromso and where I would like to eat the next time I'm there. What I think is the best cafe in Tromso, it's called Cafe Bonna. That's the main road there, there is a cafe, Cafe Bonna. We were there both times that we were in Tromso. When we were there in December, we ate inside, it was snowing so much, it was so nice, the coffee was so good, the pastries were so good. And then we went there as well the second time that we were in Tromso in March and it was completely a different atmosphere because it was warmer, people were sitting outside, we were sitting outside as well watching the fjord you really felt that Tromso was alive again like lively again it was so nice Cafe Bonna is definitely recommended we were twice or three times in Pepe's Pizza which is more of a chain that you have in different cities in Norway we were in Oslo as well I think at Pepe's Pizza we had different things if I remember I had the salad I think we had nachos we had pizza i must say that i was not expecting much from pepe's pizza but it was really delicious at least like the salad was delicious the people there were really nice the atmosphere was really nice i really liked it and therefore i would really recommend it and i think it was one of the few places that were opening on an evening which might have been Sunday evening or Monday evening, I don't remember, but it was one of the few places open. That's why we went there and that was a great choice. Another restaurant that we really, really liked was Tang's restaurant, which is a Chinese restaurant. The first time that we tried to go there, it was fully booked because there was a cruise coming and so basically they booked the whole restaurant and that was delicious. So I can definitely understand why they choose to bring people there. It's a Chinese restaurant and the food was really good really recommend it you might want to check before going there if maybe it's fully booked the second time that we went there we were there quite early we were the only one and yeah the food was really delicious now comes the fish soup restaurants i made a video about what you should eat in norway and i will leave the video linked below and one of my favorite things to eat there are the fish soups which are Oh my god, so delicious. I still haven't found a place where the fish soup doesn't taste good because I think it's very easy to do, probably, but it also tastes delicious. The fish soup in Dragoi Fiskebutik was delicious. So that was the only soup that I had that was good for lactose intolerant people. I'm lactose intolerant. Normally when I eat fish soups, I don't have like major side effects. This is a restaurant, but it's also like a place where they sell food. So you can go there and buy like raw fish to cook at home. But this is also a place where they cook the fish for you and they had this type of soup, which was good for lactose intolerant people. I'm not sure how they make it so that it's good for lactose intolerant people. But that was so delicious, a little bit spicy, but yeah, overall was so good. Definitely recommended Dragoi Fiske Boutique. I had fish soup as well at Kaya Bar and Bistro, which is also the place where I had the reindeer burger. We ate there both times that we were in Tromso. The first time I wanted to try the reindeer burger, which was a Brunost and reindeer burger. If you know Brunost is basically this brown cheese in Norway, which has like a more caramelized taste, is more sweet. I mean, I'm happy I tried that. I didn't really like it because I thought like the taste was weird because Brunost has a very sweet taste and reindeer meat has a very sweet taste. So together it was a bit weird that my burger was tasting sweet. So it's not that the meat was not good. I think the taste was not really my taste, but I'm really happy I tried it. So if you want to try it, definitely try it. Reindeer burger at Kaya Bar and Bistro. The second time that I went there, I tried the fish soup as well. 
delicious really recommended it. it's not expensive and yeah there was plenty of space i must say that it doesn't have like super good reviews but i think it depends what you order there fish soup is recommended one of the most delicious fish soups that i ate was at the roast restaurant at the scandic ishaf's hotel in tromso it was the first time that we were in tromso so we were not actually staying at the Scandic Isaf's hotel but we were staying at the Radisson Blue and we were looking for places to eat and my friend saw that there was a restaurant inside the Scandic Isaf's hotel which is basically where you have breakfast if you're staying at the Scandic Isaf's hotel so it's basically in the same area which is this nice little cute place in front of the fjord and I love the fish soup it was so delicious but i also love the place because that night it was snowing so much it was so nice and we were in this little corner next to the window facing the fjord ah, the atmosphere was so good it's definitely one of my favorite places we didn't eat there the second time that we were there because we were always having breakfast there but yeah i recommend it my friend had the burger and that was delicious as well and i think the prices were not super expensive i think like the fish soup was like 17 euro and the burger maybe 20 which yeah it's normal norwegian prices definitely recommended roast restaurant at the scandic isaf's hotel i'm italian and i'm very picky when it comes to pizza but i must say that when i was in trump for the first time it was before the first northern lights tour i still remember that day very clearly we went to eat pizza at storhus pizza here you have a very delicious pizzeria there is an italian guy making pizza there and the pizza was delicious it was really good like so light it was not heavy and yeah there was an italian guy making pizza that's of course we also talked to him he was very nice he talked about like him living in tromso the cost of living and everything we had really an amazing time they were super really super nice and the pizza was really delicious so definitely recommend that as well it's basically right up the street from the Radisson Blue in front of the Kiwi supermarket. If you are in Tromso and you don't want to spend a lot, one of the best places to eat is Burger King, which is basically the northernmost Burger King. We ate there several times, of course, because it's in the main street. It's very easy to just stop and grab a burger or like grab a coffee. So this is the northernmost Burger King of the world, I think. We were there several times, so that's one of the easiest places where you can eat. Definitely recommended. There are some restaurants and bars that I didn't have the chance to try and that I would really like to try next time that I'm in Tromso. One of these is the Rakete Bar and Pulse, which is physically like a kiosk where you can go and like eat, I think, hot dogs. It's very famous, like everyone will tell you to go there. It was very cool, that's why we didn't eat there. We were more looking for places to sit down and and be like in a warm closed space but definitely if you want like a little snack while walking around town definitely try that and let me know how it is another place that i would like to eat is burger which is a burger place i've heard like very good things about it then we have fro cafe riso verve bakery sushi house and nit these are definitely places that have very good reviews i've heard other people being there and they recommend it so yeah definitely next time i go there i will try this restaurant or cafes there is one thing to say and that is when you go to tromso and you book like activities you normally receive lunch so you don't really have to eat lunch before or after the activity for example dog sledding reindeer sledding snowmobiles all these activities normally offer you lunch which is either reindeer soup they are done differently like one was more like gulashi type the other one was really like a soup with vegetables and you also have a vegetarian option if you don't want to eat reindeer i think the last activity that we do we were really fed up with eating reindeer so we had couscous and it was really delicious it was at the dog sledding camp really good really recommended the couscous was 
really good and also there are a few supermarkets around town there is kiwi i think there was a reve as well and then there is naverse which is a place where you can find also something to eat like sandwiches they have slice of pizzas they have like pulse hot dogs so there you can definitely grab something if you want to eat in your hotel room without going to a restaurant so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was useful to you if you go and eat at any of these restaurants especially the one that i've not been to leave a comment in the comment box below what you order and how was it like i'm really curious let me know if you love the fish soups as much as i do because i don't know like i could have fish soups every day they're so delicious as always remember to give this video a thumb up to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye